All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 30-1 Functions Review, and this is question 8 out of the rational section. We just have to figure out how many roots does this equation have. Well, to do that, let's just, let's just start solving it here, okay? Um, it's a rational here, and I want to get rid of the denominators. I want to convert this into a polynomial to, to solve it here. Um, notice that what I've got here is I've got x squared minus 16 in the denominator, and that that can be factored into x minus 1, sorry, x minus 4, x plus 4. That's a difference of squares. And that I've got now a shared factor here. This denominator has got the same uh, factor as this one right here. If I multiply this entire equation through by x squared minus 16, I should be able to get rid of all the denominators. So if I multiply this first term by x squared minus 16, okay, that would cancel with the denominator, just leaving me with the 8. Now don't forget about this one right here. If I multiply 1 by x squared minus 16, I just get x squared minus 16. Now on the right hand side, there's a denominator of x minus 4. If I multiply the numerator here by x squared minus 16, that x minus 4 will cancel with this one. And all I'll be left with up in that numerator is the x plus 4. Okay, now I've got a quadratic, I've got a quadratic equation here, which tells me that I can't have uh, three roots. Okay, the best I can have is, is two. So, and I, I now highly suspicious of the one here as well, although you could treat this as a repeated root, but even, even then, I, I'm more likely to have either zero roots or, or two roots here. So let's just take a quick look at this. Let's solve this quadratic if we can. So x squared uh, minus x, bringing that over. Now I'm going to get 8 minus 16, so negative 8 minus uh, 4 will be minus 12 equals 0. And that will factor as x minus 4 x plus 3 equals 0, and I'm going to get two roots here, positive 4, negative 3. So the answer is, is C.